All right, it was 10.30. We just left Freeport. No, no, we oh. left Wednesday. Headed for Freeport. Headed for Freeport. We, Didn't tell mom. Uh, we had to make a absolute rash decision looking at the forecast. The weather is not looking good the next couple of days. For the direction we're going to go, we're going to be, we would end up seas too heaped. So we yeah, got ready within an hour and then got out here. And we, did, we did do some planning yesterday and we were definitely thinking we might leave. I got pretty comfortable in the marina. We both got pretty comfortable in the marina and so this feels like a, a stark wake up call. But we've got four hours ahead of us uh, and that's uh, what we're looking like. So it took a little longer than we planned, so we can't enter the marina until the tide comes back in. We'll be sitting out here for a moment. Um, and one thing I'm noticing this time is we've got a little bit of gunk in the bottom of the recoil, so not much, but I'm going to just go through and drain, drain that. It's really, it's not a lot, but better to get it out.
adventuring out. Weather ain't going to get us down. It's a sunny it? day. It's a sunny day today. It's sunny and nice today. Yeah, that was beautiful. But we're going to go and make the most of it before that wind comes in. tried to make a dash for the berries last night at uh, two in the morning and actually we were remarkably well put together we had everything packed up and ready to go and uh, everything was looking good and so our fortunately one of our dock neighbors um, was was out to send us off and so we helped us with our lines and we made our way out and uh, and then sure enough, we were, uh, I don't know, 100 meters away from where we were and the engine conked out, completely conked out. And so, um, tried to start it again and conked out or wouldn't wouldn't start. So um, Maria's quick thinking was to drop anchor. So we dropped anchor and then started trying to problem solve and figure out what was going on. Um, fortunately, our dock neighbor came out in their dinghy um, but in the meantime, um, what we ended up figuring out is when I went to clean the rake or filter of the stuff at the bottom, I introduced air into the line. We tried to do it last night at 2 in the morning until about 3.30 this morning and um, yeah, uh, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't clear the line. So that's what today's... Uh, today's challenge is going to be about and uh, and then yeah we'll, we'll make a, a judgment call on whether we try and go again tonight or not but storm's still coming Like, oh my god, it looks like it's gonna die. Taking Maria off to the pool so that she can get more comfortable in the water with her new gear. Look at my big fins. She's got some flippers and <laughs> her snorkel. So, hopefully, uh, the next time she'll come and uh, dive with me or snorkel with me. I gotta practice. <laughs> Steve back there, looking like an absolute pro.
wrenches today. Or tweaking the valves. Well, we're going to get the sails out today, uh, just before that load comes in. Figured we'd do a shakedown, we've got the engine running, so we just wanted to run that one for a moment and then um, and then shake down the sails. Finally, finally sailing. There she is. Got 152 out. She's not all the way out. But I'm gonna go and do some trim in a sec. Okay. We're doing five plus knots. There she is, how fast did we go? Our top speed so far is 5.9 knots. On average about 5 knots. And it's so quiet! 12.8 12 knots. We've even got the, the trolling line going. We're doing it. What's that, Captain? Yeah, 6.7 knots. 6.7 knots? Mm -hmm. 6.8. Oh, Our boat is so small. <laughs> We're fast! Well then this is a very real moment. <laughs> <laughs> we've been at it for... We've been up since... I've been up since 7.15. I think we've been talking about weather for about four hours. Yeah. And path and like navigating and where do we want to go and... It's super frustrating because... Just... It's the like, windows keep changing and... Our options keep changing, and we're just here longer and longer and longer than we want to be. Yeah, frozen decision making. Yeah, but I think right now, even though it will require us staying here an extra couple of days, I think we've got a, a decent plan. So, hopefully, the weather doesn't change on us, and it does it's stick to some resemblance of what it looks like today next week yep so let's see let's see but yeah for now i think we're gonna we're gonna stay put for another couple of days ride out this lightning storm that's coming our way and then do the jump down to the berries One of today's challenges uh, or tasks is our neighbors have very kindly given us a, uh, a new build blower. Our build blower currently isn't working. So, got to get in the back lazarette way back here, underneath and all the way back uh, to essentially be on the other side of this wall. Um, absolute mission. While I'm, while I'm back there, I'm going to be checking the, um, the leak that we have for the diesel as well. Uh, so when we fill up our diesel tank, we get a little overflow. 
but first I might check behind the switchboard and see whether we're actually getting power to the blower because that might be an issue too. Switch is working. Right down the end there. This is where I need to be. Well, that works. What's behind you? How many minutes do you think I have before it starts raining? I don't know, probably not very long. But that's the whole reason why we haven't left. Five minutes maybe. It's gonna be a good one. watching. <laughs> Come okay. on. Off to run our errands and provisioning before we head out. What do we have here? Very flat tire. <laughs> Bummer. Bummer. That's actually not Maria's bike, that was my one. This is very flat. Trying to give us an update. Yeah, should be interesting. 